crew spread out to keep you weather aware. Our Hal Sherrick is joining us now from Baldwin County beaches with those gusty winds. Yeah, he's live at the Gulf State Pier. And Hal, I don't think the beach or even the water is certainly not the place to be this afternoon or tonight. Mm. No, you got that right. As a matter of fact, the pier is already closed down. It was supposed to close at 6. They went ahead and closed it early. Now, most folks who got out to take a look today just drove through Gulf Place in their cars to take a quick peek or take a brief walk out on this pier before the winds headed them back to the car. Now, barren is a good way to describe what the sands and Gulf Shores looked like today with cold, howling winds and rough surf. Only the most adventurous hit the beach. The winds are forecasted to only get stronger throughout the night, and with it, surf is expected to build to a projected seven to nine feet. The entire area is bracing for severe weather overnight as thunderstorms move through. With the storms comes the risk of tornadoes and damaging winds. Beach safety officials expect things to get pretty rough along the coastline. It's one of those winter storms that it hadn't happened in a while, but they, they do happen. This is more something you would see in the summertime. Um, but we have the, the heavy winds that are supposed to be up to 50 to 70 miles an hour coming through um, tonight, uh, which is going to make the surf build. Uh, we have a southeast wind that's shifting tonight to the southwest when that storm comes, and that should bring more surf as well. Mm -hmm. And you can see the conditions here right now at Gulf State Park, the pier. You can see the waves crashing against some of the pilings there as the bigger sets come through. I've seen that spray reach the bottom of the pier, and that's about 25 feet up. So pretty significant, especially for this time of year. As I stood out here today, it made me think of some of the tropical systems that come through in the summertime just based on the wind and wave action. Uh, once again, the pier is closed here at Gulf State Park. They do plan to reopen at 6 a.m., but as a worker came off the pier, they said, Yes, the outside gates may open at 6, but chances are the pier itself may take a little longer to open. Just have to see what the weather brings. Live in Gulf Shores, Hal Sherrick, Fox 10 News.